first of all, I didn't even know what a 3D scanner was and how it looked like. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And now it's like a walk in the park, right? Walk in the park. All right, guys, the purpose of this video is to show you an example of the learning curve for using the Einscan 3D scanners. We've got a whole lineup, everything from the Einstar to thousand bucks all the way up to the HX Red Bundle at 12,000. I can say 98% of our customers don't even call to ask questions. Now, part of this is the 30 to 50 plus videos that we have on YouTube showing exactly how they work and everything you need. So if you just watch a few of those, you pretty much got all the skills you need. But more so today, I want to introduce the newest member of our team, Alonzo Lopez. How's it going, guys? He is doing all kinds of cool stuff here at Vision Miner. Alonzo, you've been with us for about two months, two and a half months, maybe three months going on about, now. Yep. And you've gone from zero experience with 3D scanners, and now you're running the scanner demos. That is correct. So tell me about the first couple weeks using the scanner. What was your experience like? Was it difficult? Was it easy? First of all, I didn't even know what a 3D scanner was and how it looked like. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. But once I got myself one of those HXs in my hand, it felt really cool. Really cool. What was like the number one thing, like the number one challenge or difficulty figuring out the scanning in the, in the beginning? For me, the first was getting used to the program. Once I, it's easy enough, anybody can push a button, but after pushing that button, knowing what to do, what you're looking at in that program, what you're seeing with all those lasers, that was the confusing part at first. Okay. Um, once I got the hang of that after a few tries, you know, I kind of started putting one and one together and figuring it out. And that'll be like the distance from the par. The distance from the par, how to actually maneuver the scanner itself so you could get all those details in there. Turning the scanner, seeing where the scanner is looking at, what part of the object. I mean, that was a little challenging at first, but after a few tries, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, no problem at all. How long would you say before you could just hop on the scan uh, on the computer and scan something without like really any difficulty? I'm gonna say a good solid week. A good solid week, I felt really comfortable after that. The scanning part was the easy part, right? But then getting to the actual program itself, that's where I had to do a little bit of homework. And thanks to the videos provided by us here at Vision Miner, that was no problem at all. Right, so like, what was your training like? Cause obviously I've been there, I've shown you some stuff. I'll show you something and say, scan these five parts and walk out of the room, right? Just doing it. That was my training, doing it. It was a little frustrating at first, but you know, don't stop, just keep doing it. Keep watching all those informative videos that we put out. I did a little bit more digging and uh, with Shining 3D. Like anything else, just keep doing it. One thing I like about the videos is that they're informative. They're sort of sales videos because I'm, I'm showing it off. We, we don't sell here. We're not trying to push in anything. We want you to get the right thing. But I'm showing it all off and I'm giving little tips as I realize stuff or as I'm, I come across a challenge or something that, you know, as I'm scanning something I'm like, oh, let me move it a little bit. Oh yeah, sometimes this happens where if you're in this mode, it gets a little bit of this and that or whatever. And I'm giving these tips through all these videos. So just watching an hour of the overview videos or scanning a large object scanning a reflective object, scanning a camera. All these examples are training because I'm going through real case studies and going through it and talking my way through it as I do it. So you really get to see everything. So just watching those. Yeah. Helpful. Yep. That was very helpful. Actually, that was I'm going to say that that was a perfect training tool for me. You know, I went from the HX to the H to the Einstar. I started up here. I went a little here and then I went down there couple differences between each scanner and what they can do but for the most part it was just getting the scanner in my hand scanning the object failing then doing it again that's it for me and now it's like a walk in the park right? walk in the park i could even demonstrate a demo right now if i wanted to you know i feel fairly confident i could get the terminology right i could mess around with a little bit of the software and yeah i'm pretty comfortable with what i'm doing right now and you haven't been here scanning full time for eight hours a day for three months. This is what, one or two hours a day? I'm gonna say one or two hours a day, correct? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just nice down. and easy, follow the instructions, follow our videos, and you shouldn't have a problem at all. Right, now all these videos are available for free on YouTube, and we've got a big library on our website of all the different videos, all the different topics that we've got. So feel free to check those out. And then once you do buy a scanner, you always have those as additional training and everything. And then of course, we're here to support you. 
with everything we sell, we're always your first point of contact. And then if we can't figure it out, we haven't already seen the problem, which most things we have, then we have special contacts that we direct you to and the, as well as the main company support. So you've always got us and then we have the right people if we need additional assistance. So that's a big benefit. Let's bring Matt in again. Matt, oh, Matt, 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 Matt. We need Matt. to get, Matt's got a good amount of experience with the Reva points and the Einstars and stuff and also the bigger scanners. What, what's your experience with the Einscan product? Honestly, the scanners are very powerful, but they're also so easy to use. The layout of EX scan or whatever, all the variations. X scan, HX scan. Yeah, they're all basically H, yeah. the same thing, even on the Einstar. And honestly, it's very straightforward to use. It works really well. It's so easy to use and it's very powerful for what you need. It just makes it very easy to just like, you know, bang out scan after scan, especially with like the professional ones like the HX and whatnot. It's not a big learning curve, guys. And I'll touch on that too. You know, the support and everything, like these things, I've had like two break out of hundreds, if not thousands of them that we've sold over the years. I think also everyone here knows how to scan or was able yeah. to just pick it up and have the same experience. We're gonna have some really amazing videos for you guys in this new space we're upgrading. Anyway, more on that later. Man. Thank you so much, Alonzo. You got any uh, final comments on it? Keep scanning, guys. That's all I gotta say. Keep scanning like anything else. You'll pick it up yourself. Uh, any questions? I wanna be that guy you talk to. On that note, it's really easy to get into the 3D scanners and 3D scanning, especially the Einscan brand. It's just been a joy to use. So if you got questions or you wanna know more, or you wanna quote or anything like that, just email us, give us a phone call, and uh, we're here to help you and answer your questions and get you the right thing. And I will not sell it to you if it's not the right thing for your application. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, like if you liked it. Have a positive rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next video.